Welcome to another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. My name is Reese Williams. Today what I'm going to teach you is a very common mistake that I see a lot of people who manage a database make. And this comes into play when you have a record that has a spouse on the record and you're notified that they're deceased. Now, Razor's Edge has in its system under the config module, if you go to their business roles section, a series of what's called deceased options. And you'll notice here that it gives you the option of doing some check boxes on a record in the event you mark them deceased. So in the event you're marking a person deceased, enter the current date as the deceased date, uncheck the send mail, etc., etc. Now all this top section is fine uh, in the event that it's just a normal person. But if the person has a spouse, the biggest mistake I see is that they check these boxes here. What ends up happening if you let Razor's Edge use these deceits options to make a spouse a separate constituent, soft credit the spouse for all the past gifts, etc., etc., this becomes very, very bad down the road, and let me explain why. If you go to a record and you open up, uh, I'm in my sample database, I'm going to pick Porter Nelson Sr., and this is a record that's in the database that has a spouse. Now, and when you look at the spouse record, you can see that the spouse is not linked. So meaning I can edit the text. If it was a linked record, meaning Renee had her own record, these would be grayed out and you wouldn't be able to modify it. Now the mistake would happen if in the event you found out Porter passed away. If you mark deceased here and you had all those options back in the config module checked, all suddenly Renee would become her own record, and what would happen is every gift that they made together as a couple would show up on her record as a, on, as a soft credit. Now the problem is, now if you ever query anyone that's made donations to you, she won't even show up. If you do a donor wall, if you do an annual report, her gifts are not considered gifts, they're considered soft credits. So the problem happens when people actually use this config button or these options in the business rules to actually make a separate record when in reality you shouldn't do this at all. So the way you fix this is in the event that a person is deceased, what you do is you reverse the spouse and the bio one. So instead of Porter Nelson, I would come up here and I would put in the right person and change her title here. You see what I've done? And I'm coming down here, I will change it to female. Obviously, these details, the date of birth, the social security numbers, all of these things you would copy over and you would change the, the spouse name to be his name. So it would become a reversed situation. So in essence, when you open up the reversed spouse, you would now make it say Porter and Mr. And you would say, you know, ex-husband or whatever. But this part right here under general two is where you would mark him deceased. Do you see how that works? Now by saying save and close, you are marking the spouse deceased. You have maintained the spouse record. You'd need to update the salutations here, obviously, just as if you would uh, on a regular record that e even if you created a new one. But what you've done by doing it this way is you have preserved the gift history. You notice that? All the gift history is still on her record. So this is a good way to work around this whole idea that you create a separate record, soft credit everything over. You just basically reverse the bio one and the spouse record. Now I didn't put in all these other details like the birth date and social, but you would be more detailed and do that. But you get the gist. So this is a quick down and dirty way to make sure that you don't mess up when somebody is passed away.